Welcome back to the podcast, guys. It's the 30th of November, 2022. Today's story, let's get straight into it. WWE is not considering a bold WrestleMania plan for Roman Reigns. WWE has a lot of decisions to make on the road to WrestleMania 39. April 1st and 2nd, we'll see. WWE bring the grandest stage of them all to SoFi Stadium, and so far fans are likely in store for a massive event. That being said, one rumoured plan going around is not being considered at all. WWE is batting around for Roman Reigns, and this is actually in the pipeline. There's a rumour going around that the titles will be split by the end of the draft's latest. The draft will be after WrestleMania. There is some talks, however, of Roman Reigns dropping both titles at WrestleMania night one, and obviously the second one on night two. Pardon me. Ringside News reached out to verify this report, but it would certainly be a bold booking decision for Roman Reigns. A tenured member of the WWE creative team who is privy to such discussions was quick to shoot down this report. He said it's obvious this person has no real source on the inside because if he's referring to discussions that have never taken place, it's all garbage. We were actually told exclusively that WWE is still considering the next date for their draft. There is no confirmation exactly when their draft will be, but it's going to happen. Ringside News exclusively reported that The Rock is a virtual lockdown for WrestleMania 39 in Hollywood. The Great One is obviously busy with his loaded schedule, but with the XFL opening next year, that could provide him with some downtime to get back in the ring. Only time will tell what WWE's plans are for Roman Reigns and The Rock at WrestleMania Hollywood. At the end of the day, people, Triple H is in charge now, okay? So far, with Vince McMahon gone, the WWE product has been absolutely booming, all right? Triple H has brought back people who Vince McMahon fired. The product is firing on all cylinders, people. Um, Cody Rhodes' return was great. Great debut at WrestleMania. Brought back The Fiend. I wasn't... Don't get me wrong. Not The Fiend, sorry. Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt come back. It was a, it was a good debut. But um, he should have kept his mystique, you know? You shouldn't have had him on SmackDown every single week after that. You should have brought him back. Showed fans that you brought him back and then just kept him in the shadows. Do you know what I mean? That's what you should have done. But apart from that, Triple H is firing on all cylinders, people. The Rock will return, okay, when the bloodline is being pummeled by Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns is destroying his own bloodline. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, I can't really see The Rock returning to help out Sami Zayn when Sami Zayn's getting beaten down by the bloodline. I can't see that happening, but I can see The Rock coming back to WWE to uh, confront Roman Reigns on the Bloodline storyline. I can see that happening. So let me know what you think, people. Hope everyone's good. Give the video a thumbs up. Hit that bell. Share, subscribe.